All right, Brian, thank you. Tonight, Westville police are asking for the community's help while investigating an unusual crime committed on Halloween. Tonight, Fox 59, Scarlett O'Hara explains how this was the trick that nobody asked for. Westfield woman heard that sound on Halloween night, expecting to greet some kids with candy. But instead of trick-or-treaters, she opened the door to a cup full of glitter. When I answered, I said trick-or-treat, and he said trick-or-treat. Hi, trick-or-treat. I heard something hit the door. I looked behind me and just saw glitter everywhere, all over my son, all over my dog. Kaylee Sonich says she bent down just in time before the masked suspect in a shark costume pulled a cup from behind his empty candy bag, chucked it into her home, and took off. It's hard to not think that it wasn't targeted, it wasn't directed towards us. At first, she didn't know what to make of this sparkly surprise attack that Westfield police are now investigating as battery. The officer that came out here was very friendly and very helpful. Um, obviously, with it just being glitter, I know they have a lot of stuff going on. Um, but he did say that he thought that it could potentially be a hate crime because I have um, a pride flag outside and I had some Kamala signs, which would be really disheartening. Also concerning, she says, was how shaken up her six-year-old son felt. I just put him to bed and he, he didn't want to go to sleep because he thought somebody was after us. And she worried it would make her 15-year-old dog Henry sick. He's old. There's been times where we thought he wasn't going to make it. And, you know, this was one of those times because I just didn't know what um, the glitter was going to do, how much he breathed in. It was in his eyes. It was in his nose. Thankfully, the vet gave Henry a clean bill of health, but a few flecks of green glitter still hide in his hair. He was actually my sister's dog and she passed away in 2014. So, you know, he's very important to me, and um, that was probably the most upsetting part aside from, you know, my son being scared. She and Westfield police are asking anyone with information on the suspect to come forward. You think you know your neighbors and people, but um, now I just, I don't really trust anybody because it's, I just don't know who, obviously, who it was. In Westfield, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News. Scar